Okay, today I'll be demoing an add-on in Google Sheets called From Sheets to Calendar. Now, one of the things that I have to do a lot in my position is that I have to do a lot of mass scheduling. Um, when I'm looking at athletic calendars in particular, I have to upload 10, 10 football games and 20 some odd basketball games at a time and share those out with other people in my office. What this add-on does is it allows you to create events in the spreadsheet and then import them into your calendar. So after you put the add-on, after you've added the add-on to your sheet, um, you'll first run it by hitting this first start button. It'll populate the spreadsheet and give you the name of all your columns so that you don't have to do that yourself. Okay. So at that point, you would enter in all your events with the title, start, and end time. Note that the start and end time has a specific format that you have to put in. Um, this is pretty important or else it, it won't take. Okay. The other neat feature about this is on the calendars, it will take and sync with every one of the calendars that you have on the Google account that you're logged into. Okay. The rest of the columns, very standard for what you would have in an event in Google calendars. You would have the location, description. You can also invite guests from this. You would want to send an invite. Notifications, you can do pop-up and email. And you can also put them at the time markers to, to fire whenever you want those notifications to go. Okay. So now that I have my spreadsheet entered and everything is good to go, I'm going to go back to my add-on. And I'm going to import in the calendar. Okay. So pay attention to this last column. Once everything gets added. Okay. So we're good to go there. Now I'm going to go over to my calendar. Notice that all my events are titled with an asterisk, so that way we can identify them pretty easily. Now, if I go over here, you'll see all my events have been added with the location, time, all the details that I had in the spreadsheet. This can save you a ton of time if you're doing mass scheduling, and it's very simple to use.